let me call my man. <laughs> morning for me good whatever time it is you're watching this video uh, I've been ill the last couple of days but I'm finally like on the mend I feel good I'm happy um, yeah but I'm still in the trenches of academic writing you know it's real when like a typical non coffee drinker breaks out the coffee um, I'm going through a lot you guys <laughs> anyway I've done most of the work today's the day before i have to turn in the finalized version of the proposal so i'm going to spend today just kind of like putting some finishing touches to it so that it will be good to go by tomorrow um just wanted to check in let you guys know that i'm okay i'm alive i survived the illness <laughs> um and yeah I'm good. I'm doing well. I hope you're well too. Ooh, I've been doing so much writing today when i first checked in it was probably around like 10. i've been sat haven't stood up and it's now like almost three but i'm gonna have quick lunch i'm about to fry some plantain um have lunch and then get back to it I've been forgotten. I sent a message in Slack asking someone to tell my PI to set up the Zoom link. Or oh, it's now like almost 10 minutes into the start of group meeting and I'm still waiting. Uh... Yeah, I can. I can hear you guys. Awesome. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Miss you. I miss you guys too. <laughs> yes, um, I had something to say about HPLCs. So, um, just drawing everyone's attention back to the fact that when you use any of the HPLCs, you need to write in the logbook. Um, I think people have started to forget that that's a thing that should be done. Um, it really helps me keep track of who used it last. So if there's anything to fix or if something happens with the HPLC, I know who to ask, not blame, ask to just get an understanding of what has happened um so please write in the logbook every time you use any of the hplcs thank you in the logbook you should write the date your initials um the time and the, um, the pressure and if there are any errors on the machine or any like additional comments you should also include that there but of course if there's a, a problem if something errors out or something please talk to me You guys, it is ORP submission day. I just sent the email. I just submitted the final document to my committee. I am exhausted. I spent all day making figures and putting like finishing touches to the document. But whew, 
I literally just hit send on that email. It is what time is it? I don't have my phone with me, but it's 7:45 p.m. I think. You're supposed to submit one week before your thing. They didn't specify a time, but I submitted one week before, so I'm good. Oh my gosh! One last thing to do, which is like the actual defense in a week's time. Well, I'm so happy. I can hopefully sleep like a normal human being tonight and the next coming days because I have not been sleeping properly. But yeah, I am free ish until next week. <laughs> You know when food is like fresh off the stove straight to you? This is the kind of food delivery I like. Ah, oh, I love it. Have some shrimp pineapple fried rice. Or is it just pineapple fried rice? I don't remember now. In here. And something called duck chu chi. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's shrimp pineapple fried rice dog chu chi and some white rice and some crispy rolls which is like reminds me of spring rolls dog chu chi this is really nice and the fried rice and the spring rolls just got back from the gym and realized that my airpods case is missing not the actual airpods like just the case well i realized it's in the gym and you know i tried to retrace my steps no love couldn't find it this is this is so frustrating because i you know looked everywhere that i was um yeah no luck like i literally i have the airpods i have both of them I just lost the case and all I'm thinking is if someone picked this up because they were hoping that it was like an airpods or something they must be so disappointed because the airpods are here but the case is nowhere to be found I don't even know what to do like can you can you buy just an airpods case and not the airpods I don't think you can but this is actually super frustrating because one thing about me is I don't like to lose things like I don't it's not about getting the replacement, just mentally losing things really mess, like losing items really messes with me. This is like since secondary school, even if I lose the pen, I will hunt that pen down and find it. It's not about being able to afford the replacement. It's not about being, being gifted a replacement. I just, I just don't like to lose things. But anyway, this kind of is like thrown off my day a little bit, but... It's fine now. I'll try to carry on. You guys would not believe it, but I actually found a case, like a replacement charging case on Amazon. So after I talked about how I lost my AirPods case in the gym and, you know, I wasn't sure if I could get a replacement, I actually went on Amazon to look and what do you know? I replacement case. Look, it works. I have my AirPods. My AirPods are charged. It's like ideologies and rhetorics, and just there's no point. Because to me, it's, like, it's not enough. Oh, it's a woman, but you're still doing it. You're just embodying. You absolutely have have to correct it if it's in your household, and you know better. Yeah, I feel like you actually have more scope to correct it. Like, so me, I feel like if I had like a random case, and I was like, oh, I need to get a replacement case. I'm not going to be invested in that person to want to educate them. Do you know what I mean? But I do think that like it's something that you should think about. Like, if it's someone in my family, an older aunt or a grandma or whatever, and they're saying something mad, I'm not going to be invested in that person to want to educate them. Do you know what I mean? But I do think that like if it's someone in my family, an older aunt or a grandma or whatever, and they're saying something mad. 
I act, because I know better. I have to, I have to say yeah. something, and I um, you know not that my parents say racist or my things, but like my mum has you know said things that. I just realized I need to take a passport photo for something, so just trying to get ready. I don't like my daily life, I don't really do makeup unless I have like somewhere to go or something to do. Just trying to do a quick, quick, quick bit so I don't look as tired as I feel. I didn't really have a good night's sleep yesterday, like last night, I was up until 2 a.m. doing what I don't know. <laughs> I really am not like, truly, really and truly not a makeup girly. Nothing against the girls who can do it, like I just, I don't know how to do it. I don't have the skills to do, you know, like the full glam look. The f I don't have the skills or the products to do that. So <laughs> when I do my makeup, it's pretty much foundation and then if I'm feeling fancy a little bit of concealer or I'll put on some mascara as well so so that my eyes or my face doesn't look bald I find that when I don't put on mascara I just I don't know I look a bit tired or my face looks a bit bald you know my initial plan was to go to like Walgreens or CVS to take this passport but then i recall that i have a fully functional phone um and a camera so maybe i should try to take it at home especially because i just want like a digital copy of the passport so i don't think it's really worth it to pay 17 dollars for two passport photos when i could try to take it at home so i hope that works out fine This is how it came out. It's just good enough for what I needed for. Hi guys. Um, today is the day. Today is exam day. It's finally like the oral defense part of my proposal. <laughs> I'm so exhausted, like mentally, physically. I feel like my brain is fried. I, I just have to do this thing I have to do it it's supposed to be two hours long I I don't know I don't see what I'll be talking about for two hours <laughs> but we'll see we'll see um <laughs> get started um this is my original research proposal and the title of this proposal is design and functional evaluation of extracellular matrix targeting collagen mimetic peptides so um this is a bit of a mouthful but, so i'm going to be using abbreviations you know through the slides like ecm for extracellular matrix and cmp for collagen mimetic peptides My brain is fried and I'm like just so tired man. I'm so tired. Can't wait for this to be over. I wonder how long it's gonna take them. Lord, Lord I'm messy. I'm so nervous. Ooh! You know what? You know what? You know what? No one in my lab has ever left the program because of this. So I'm just gonna keep telling that to myself. You passed your RP. You passed your RP. 
Yeah, and I just want to say congratulations. And Thank I thought you. you had really creative starting points of like, you know, a really relevant problem and very creative, very different from each other starts to start targeting that problem. I really like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. weight has been lifted off my shoulders let me call my man <laughs> let me <laughs>